Hey there everybody, this is Energizer um, with a video on how to download, well not how to download, but how to install practically any texture pack that you want for Minecraft. Now I know I haven't put up any videos in a long time, but maybe somebody wants to watch this, so um, let's do this. So anyways, this is my Minecraft right now. Um, as you can see, everything looks uh, all fancy and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what I have right now at the moment. Uh, some of you are probably wondering, whoa, dude, how are you getting these graphics so awesomely on your camera? Well, I'm not using any camera, I'm using my iPhone. That's right, this is the iPhone's camera. So anyways, let's get out of this. Um, that was the multiplayer pack. So, whenever you first play Minecraft, this is what their settings are going to be on. Uh, don't worry about this. This is just whatever. You can just click create new world. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to use one of my old worlds. Um, everything looks like this. Um, obviously, these are cobblestones. You can see they're very pixelated. And I'm holding some cobblestones in my hands, too. Um, these are what the torches look like. Doors. Dirt. Grass. And, uh, yeah, more cobblestones. I think I have a bed over here. Nope, no, I don't. Never mind. But as you can see, the game uh, itself looks very pixelated ish. Uh, furnace, um, workbench. Um, I put the workbench in there, I don't know why. Oh, this is my golden pickaxe, by the way. Gold! As you can see, it says golden pickaxe. So, anyways. Uh, lapis, lazuli, whatever, I don't give a fuck, leather, yeah, basic shit. Now you're probably wondering, hey, that's a cool skin, how come my skin's not like that? Well, I just use something called Skin Edit, I'll probably make another video based upon that, or you can just find one on YouTube itself, and you can see how to do it, everything, but I had to do some guess and check for me. So anyways, this is my Minecraft, this is what the original Minecraft is, okay, so let's save and quit and let's close now I have the bot version so the bot version I mean like you know I paid for it sorry if it made it sound like a bot <laughs> but anyways um, that was a video on uh, how to patch your minecraft but see this is the thing you don't necessarily have to patch it okay like I don't know why you have to, but you really don't have to. Patching it, what it does is it replaces the default to whatever you pa to whatever you want it to. Okay, what I'm doing is showing you how to keep your default without having to patch it or anything else. I honestly don't see the point of patching it when you could just download it and just put it in there and bam, you're good to go. So if you have a bot version paid, right? Um, I will pull, put this link in the description so you can come find this and download it. Um, anyways, scroll down here where it says installation guide. Okay, most people don't really do this. And you download this little file called Gerud Ger Gerudoku Zip or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't care. Forget this texture fixed raptor. Forget this second step completely. And the third. And all the other steps. Anyways, you download this bitch. Uh, put it on your desktop, it'd be easier to find. Um, so yeah, just save it there. As you can see, it's already saving down here. So I'm going to close this here and minimize. Now here's where the fun begins. It's, it's by the way, if you're wondering why I keep refreshing the page, it's, it's one of my OCDs to do so. So anyways, you open up this and you put in percent app data. Right, like the percent symbol and then the app and then the data. Um, like the percent symbol, A P P D A T A. The percent symbol again, and you should get this file up here that says roaming. Now, this is if you use Windows 7. I don't know if it'll work for Windows Vista the same way or not, but if it does, awesome. If it doesn't, oh well. Um, I will put another way how to find this. I I think you have to go to the run thing and then go type in uh, percent app data, and then after you find it with with uh, using run. It, this, the steps are the same. Anyways, so you da open up roaming, 
and you're gonna get this folder here um, there we go uh, you're gonna get this giant folder here and it says all these other things blah 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 anyway so it will open here which says minecraft and uh, come down here to where it says texture packs you open that up now I already have the Gerudoku file but for the sake of this I'm gonna delete it so you can actually see there's no funny business going on um, yes okay so right now I have painterly no creepers painterly pump and roamcraft now to prove to you that I do not have Gerudoku in my uh, file thing I'm gonna already open this up and I'm gonna show it to you okay uh, mods and texture packs see how there is no Gerudoku here there's default painterly painterly again and roamcraft now for for those of you who are like hey painterly what the fuck is that I, they're just other texture packs and um, whenever I first saved them I renamed them so their names are probably differently to other people but I named them this a painterly pump stands for painterly pumpkins or whatever and the no creepers well obviously no creepers um, so anyways let's close that out it must be closed to do this I'm sorry I, for, I forgot to mention that but it has to be closed to meant to uh, actually do this. So, anyways, after oh, excuse me, hiccup. <clears throat> after you do all of this, you go to you grab the Gerudoku that's on your desktop, and you open and you just move it over here. Bam! It's pretty fucking simple. No patching, nothing. And whenever they come out with a newer version, all you have to do when they come out with a newer version, download it to your desktop. Come over here. You don't have to delete this unless it's the it's unless they name it the same thing then I would recommend deleting it and then just moving it over and that will be it so now so I, I can show you that it does work and it is real that I'm doing you can see minecraft is not open down here I got this folder my windows live um, this is my folder thing okay uh, we got google chrome and my whoop, zoom zoom whatever the fuck you wanna call it I don't give a shit so anyways now let's open up minecraft again to show you that this isn't fake and I'm not bullshitting you the half like through the whole video okay so let's go to mods and texture packs oh my god look at this we have a new option Gerudoku or whatever the fuck it's called I don't give a shit um, single player play oh shit picked a different world no <laughs> wait but which world was it? Right, there we go. Now you can see that all the graphics in here look different from the first time. The dirt looks different. The furnace itself looks different. Uh, it's still pixelated, but they look better. Um, the torches look pretty cool. Uh, my staircases, everything that's made of stone is, well, stony now. Um, torch. Uh, this is what gravel looks like in here on this map pack texture pack I should say that's what the coal looks like and it has a whole bunch of variety of things so you can actually look at it and uh, mess around with it and stuff um, one problem though with this texture pack that I have come to the realization and that is making me a little bit mad is uh, the some of the railroads the detector railroad and the powered railroad don't have a picture it's just a brown block whenever you download this so for the sake of this I'm gonna go into my multiplayer and I'm gonna show you this uh, this one right here is supposed to be a uh, detector railroad as you can see I have them right here I have a powered rail and a detector rail um, these two don't look like they're supposed to they're supposed to look like uh, well at least something similar to this would make me happy that that's a powered rail that's a detector rail as you can see they don't look like that oh by the way this is what cobblestone looks like in the default settings I don't know if I showed it to you or not but yeah um so yeah hopefully Gerudoku will come out with a patch or an updated version of it where they would have powered rails and detector rails fixed and a bunch of other stuff that's broken that I haven't found yet so anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope I helped you out. Uh, favorite, subscribe, whatever. Yep, comment if you need to. Um, have a good day, everyone. Bye.